Hey guys, Buckle here. Welcome back to Buckle Music. Today we have something really special for you guys. It's a tutorial based on a question from one of you guys actually. And uh, the question was essentially how to use a MIDI device or a DAW to launch uh, your own samples or your own sounds live or in a recording setting so you could hit a key and make the sample play. So what we're going to do is grab my guitar and use it to make some cool drum-esque sounds and using that we will break those sounds down into individual samples and show you how to launch them in your DAW. So let us begin. So guys, what we're going to do using the recording software that I use, which is called Mixcraft on the computer here, we're going to hopefully do a split screen for you of me working and a shot of the screen as well, like I did in my last video. Uh, so here is my guitar. There's the screen. Hopefully that worked. Here's the guitar. So what I'm going to do is uh, using the guitar, we're going to make some sounds like a for a snare, a kick, maybe like a for a snare, and maybe something like that for the hats, and then we'll have some fun with some other sounds as well. So let's get into it. So we'll come in here, hit record, and uh, because I'm using a microphone, I'm gonna have to not talk while it happens, but let us begin, shall we? So. There we are, I reckon one of those will work well. Let's find a snare. Something like that sounds good. Let's get maybe a, a different sounding snare. Something like that, and a hat. Could use one of them, and then let's have some fun with some extra sounds. Uh, I don't know if I like that, we won't use that. Let's do some vocals. Oh yeah. A one, two, three, four. Come on. All right, I'm gonna stop recording and let's break these sounds down. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do now, let's go full screen, excellent. And uh, we're gonna come in here. And uh, as you can see, each of these sounds is in there. Very good. So what I'm going to do is grab these, let's split it there and there. And we'll use, I reckon, that one. That should be a good kick. Um, so we'll pull that over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and grab a kick, grab a snare, grab a snare, grab a hat, pull them all over. And I'm going to then export each of those individual sounds. So I'm gonna edit them, make the kick one a bit more bassy, make the snare one a bit more top endy. Um, let's, maybe let's just, um, let's grab the kick and I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. So you know, so I'll save this and then go file, save as sounds. I don't care about spelling because this file will get deleted very soon. Uh, let's drag this down to an empty track, unsolo all that, so that way when I export this file, it's only going to export this kick. Let's zoom right in here, snapping it off. So we want that to be the start of the sample. Bang, kick, I think that's more of a snare, but that's okay. We'll work with that. Uh, let's come into the EQ, let's grab that area. What I'm going to do is just set it on loop so that it will keep just playing that over and over. And we can, oh, here we go, look at that. I want a little bit of top end in that just for a little bit of clarity. There we are, I like that. There we are, so we have ourselves a kick just there, just from the, uh, the guitar and then what I'm going to do is I would come in there and I would um, select that track and I would just export that individual sound excluding all the rest of the uh, sounds in here. I wouldn't export any of that, just that one little sound. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go and do that with all of them and export them as individual WAV files and we'll come back once that's done. Alright guys, so what I've done here is exported all those different sounds as individual WAV files. So if I was to come in here and open up the one, two, three, four we would get One, two, three, four. the audio. That's the wave file, that's the whole thing. So it's a three second file. Same thing with kick, snare and all of that. So what we're gonna do next is jump into, um, you would have to download the VST Grizzly, which I will put a link to in the description, hopefully I remember this time, and then just install it as you would any VST. If you need help with that, then jump on Google and type in how to install VST, or um, it's all over YouTube, plenty of it already. And there's even videos about how to use Grizzly as well, but this is my take and my version. So what I'm gonna do is come down to Grizzly, 
which is here. Now, I haven't done this in a while, so this might take me a second to remember how to do this, so let's uh, please have some patience with me. So here we have preset kits, and um, I'm pretty sure, oops, I have my piano turned on, sorry, there we go. As you can see, the different pads there are launching from different keys on my piano, which is there. Beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, is we want to make a new preset, yeah? So we're going to come down. I'm just, I just do this out of habit. Always select an unused one. And we're going to come, actually, before we do that, I forgot we need to grab our, um, our files that we made. That's my recordings from Fraps. Apologize for that. Here we go. So these are my WAV files. And we want to make inside of the samples folder, inside of Grizzly in your VST folder, you can do it through your browser. I've just found if you just come in here and click on the browse button, it takes you straight to it. I'm going to come in and make a new folder, and I'm going to call it, uh, let's just call it Guitar Drums, just for the sake of argument. And I don't know if it likes spaces or capitals, because it looks like all of their ones don't have it. Probably can, but I'm just going to stick with their naming convention. Guitar Drums. And um, in there, obviously, there's nothing. What I did was I went into one of their, theirs, and they've just named them all Noise 1 to Noise 8. So what I'm going to do is, um, well, this one they've named differently as well. I'm quite happy just to use the names that I've got for the different sounds. I think it's easy to understand. So, ah, oh, wrong folder again. My bad. I just literally am going to drag and drop my seven files into here. So we have one, two, three, four, come on, hats, all of the rest of them all sitting there. And um, so now... We're talking about pad one. I want that to be the kick. And I'll just close it and show what I'm doing. Okay, so they're in there now, saved in the directory. And you can then select which wave file you want for each pad. So for this wave file, I want the kick drum. So we're gonna come down to guitar drums and call it kick one. Bang, listen to that. There it is, that's my sound. Uh, the second one we're gonna call snare one. Third one we'll call snare two. Fourth one we will call hats. And then fifth one, let's go with one, two, three, four. Sixth, let's go with, come on. And then seventh, let's go with, uh, what was the last one was, oh yeah, beautiful. And the last one we'll just leave as theirs because I don't really care. Let's come here and go save preset and I'm gonna call it guitar, if you are, T -A, if you are drums and okay, save, done. So now, all I have to do is play my keyboard. Watch this, I'm gonna lean this down so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully, and still be dual screening. One, two, three, four. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, 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 oh yeah. Come on. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, it works. And I, oh, sorry about all that noise. I just ran over my microphone. Yes, it works. So that is all you have to do to make your own triggered samples. And as you can see, they play pretty quickly as long as you have your wave file cut right to the start of your audio. It triggers almost instantly to the point where you could probably use it live as well, uh, depending on what DAW software you're using. But that's essentially it. And that's how you make your own triggered sound. That's the way it is. But yeah, check that out, guys. Check out some of my gaming videos as well. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry about the weird angles and the lighting and the microphone because I had to use the real microphone for this. And uh, But I think it's a good thing. It's a good cause. And I'm uh, looking forward to getting into it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Bye.